Hi, I'm Steve with Moose Logic, and today we're going to continue on the topic we started uh, in the last video. Uh, what is virtual storage? And we previously had talked about thin provisioning and virtual volumes. Specifically, I'm talking about the Data Core, uh, Sam Melody, Sam Symphony products, uh, and how they implement virtual volumes and thin provisionings. And the whole reason for this is multipath, avoiding uh, single points of failure, properly implementing HA. And it should be important to note that this is done for either virtual environments, Zen Server, VMware, etc., uh, and or a Windows environment. I've got a real brief, quick drawing here to, uh, de uh, to demonstrate what we're talking about. Um, so let's start here at the bottom again. Um, as we talked about in our last video series, Data Core is a Windows-based product. It runs on virtually any type of server hardware, good cloud, server class hardware, of course. And in our case, what we do is we set up two data core nodes, data core node A and B. Each one has its own storage in it, and it's constantly being synchronously um, replicated. So whatever's written to one node is written to the other node at the same time. Within that, you create a volume, one on each side. So you have volume 1A and volume 1B. Application server obviously can't look at volumes on each side and, and understand what it's doing and utilize that. It, it just it doesn't work that way. So what Data Core does is they create a virtual volume. Out of virtual volume 1A and 1B becomes the VVOL, virtual volume or LUN. So when your application server is looking for a storage, it's actually looking at this. It sees one storage repository and it has no idea that there's multiple SAN nodes behind it that's serving up that data. Now, in order to make that truly multi-path and high availability, what we do is we have our application server. And in our application server, uh, we're either going to usually have a couple NICs. Uh, if it's a Windows application server, they're probably teamed. Uh, if it's a Zen server, you're going to usually, I like to use HBAs. There's lots of ways to do this. But the concept is, is you have NIC1 going to switch B. You have NIC, the other NIC going to switch A. So you have two paths to your different switches. Then you have your data core nodes, and again, you're going to have a couple NICs in them. And you're going to have this NIC point to switch B, and this NIC to switch A, and the same concept here, NIC1 going to each of the two switches. So as you can see, what happens is if your application server is looking for its storage, it's going to choose one of the two paths to go down. It's going to hit a switch, and then it's going to drop down either into your data core node A or into your data core node B and see your virtual volume. It's true multi-path. If you were to say, lose this whole switch, no problem. Application server is going to talk to this switch and either talk to data core node A or B. Well, what would happen if you lost this switch and for some reason you'd done something crazy and you'd also plugged your data core into the same power that just went out and took switch B down? So this side's all out. Well, no problem. Application server is going to talk to switch A. It's going to find the storage down here at switch B. It's true multi-path. The concept is true HA, we're looking for five nines, 99.99% uptime. And with data core SAN solutions built like this, the way this logic builds them, 99.99% uptime is what you are going to get. So I'm Steve with Moose Logic. Today we just continued the what is virtual storage concept, uh, talking about multipathing and how you build a truly HA uh, SAN environment. Thanks for being with us. Until next time.